positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know, we do it over here. You know, I like to keep you guys laced up. And I know there's a lot of mental health out there right now with people going through it. A lot of people are stressed the hell out, dealing with economics, family, finances, trying to figure it out, job stability. Well, first and foremost, you wanna focus on things you can control. And what you could control is your reality. Whether that's taking the time out to just say, you know what, I'm cool with this job for a minute. Let me go and, you know, just find myself, take a break, step away from everything and see what really makes me happy and maybe assess what I'm doing in life. Just because it's paying the bills don't mean it's really what you want to be doing in life. And it might be one of the reasons why you're unhappy because you're just going somewhere to get a check and it's not fulfilling. You know, not working a nine to five. Yeah, it's, it, it, it seems, you know, a little bit of risque, um, uncertainty at times, uh, you know, maybe uh, scary, but when you know how to create things and work within the universe to make uh, things happen, you will always be provided for and you have the freedom to exercise your mind and your mental health. If you're unhappy right now, you really need to focus first and foremost on your health rather than worrying about um, what you have to do at that job tomorrow. Because that job is going to be there whether you have a heart attack, whether you have a mental breakdown, whether something else happens to you. They're going to keep on pushing and they're not going to send you any flowers to your funeral or any of that stuff. And if you're mad and angry because of what you see in politics, what you see going around the world, man, look, that shit has always been going on. It's just been magnified now because of social media. But to think that your anger is going to change that, it's not going to. Focus on yourself. Focus on what you can do within your reality, within your world that you can control. It, it, it doesn't have to be everything is doom and gloom. Oh, it's going to end. This doing this. Oh, we're being bombarded with this or this and that. I mean, that's what they want you to feed off of because depression feeds the, the alcohol business. It feeds the drug business. It feeds the uh, junk food business. It feeds the entertainment business because those are all escapes when you're not happy. You know, I think about sometimes when people say they're, they ha they're they not happy with their life or they're, they're mad about this. And I'm like, you know, when I was in prison and every day I had to look at some piece of shit guard or some asshole inmate and I had to deal with these people on a daily and I couldn't leave. I couldn't, I just had to just, I just had to wait it out, you know, and I'm not talking about, you know, next week, you know, next month, you know, I'm talking about years. Some of these people I had to deal with for years, you know, and, uh, I, 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 I used to think like, okay, I can't focus my anger on these individuals that I can't get away from. So what can I do within the confinements of this captivity to make my mind more at ease? And I would find escapes, man. I would find things that made me feel somewhat happy, you know, put a smile on my face. Um, I mentioned it before. I'm a big car guy. I would you know, look at my DuPont registers or my Hemings Motor News or uh, read the Rob Report. Um, you know, read articles in Vanity Fair, different stories. I was always trying to find things that 
if I was not in prison, where could I be? You know, I would look at um, the pictures of homes in uh, Boca Raton or, uh, um, you know, somewhere in, in Colorado or in, in somewhere in Europe. Or I'd be like, man, if I was on a vacation, I'd go hit that spot up. Or if I was in Florida, maybe I have a, a cigarette boat and be, you know, hitting the ocean and that. Or, man, if I was driving down PCH, I'd be in this drop old school. You know, you, you got to find something. Work is not is not a hobby, you know, unless you are doing what you love doing. Like if I was building cars and when I'm painting, that's not work. It's I love doing that, man. And my mind is free. I feel I feel good. You know, it, it puts a smile on my face. But for a lot of people, work is work and they don't even get pleasure in that. And then they're they're always upset about, you know, this employee or this boss or these hours or can't make make these ends meet. Nobody's telling you to go do that stuff, man. You have the same 24 hours in a day as somebody else. Even though we see people and they appear to have everything you think you want, you know, even those people have issues. You know, some of those people who were handed everything, they never had to work for shit. You know, uh, they had a golden spoon. But, you know, hey, th that's that's what they were born into for whatever their experience is here why they're you know on this planet but for you whatever your experience is you have to figure that out and you have to find your own peace of mind your own happiness otherwise you're gonna you're, you're gonna you're gonna create cancer in yourself you're gonna create uh, them talking about some type of ailment some type of illness you're gonna you're gonna rot inside man you're gonna mess around and have a road rage situation or you're gonna fly off and do something to somebody because you're so, you know, so pent up with all this negative energy and it just comes out and you don't realize until it's too late. So, you know, the purpose of this video is to say, man, you're free. If you're watching this, hopefully you're not in prison on a cell phone. You're free, man. What are you tripping off of, man? Stop, stop, you know, use your sick days, go to the beach, take a road trip, you know, find something that's going to make you feel good about yourself, but find you a passion. You know, passion is not just, you know, sitting in front of the TV or, you know, uh, playing with your playing with your pets. You know, passion is something that when you do it, it feels like, wow, this is, it, it gives you purpose. You know, I love my, my little puppies, man. I, I love my wife. I love, you know, life, but my passion is, you know, when I'm out meeting people, being social, talking to people I've never met, hearing their life stories, being in inspired, painting, you know, talking about cars, working on cars, you know, going to different places I've never been and, and, and talking to people that, you know, I would have never have talked to had I not traveled, you know, just new experiences. That's a passion, you know, things that make you feel alive. You know, trying something you never tried. Maybe you never tried surfing. Maybe you never tried uh, skateboarding. Maybe you never tried um, riding a horse. Maybe you never tried, um, you know, going on a safari. I mean, there's so many different things for you to be living angry, to be mad. You know, you're with somebody, you're just there. You guys are passing each other in the wind. Man, look, pack your shit up and leave, man. Get up out of there. You know, if you're stuck in a horrible family situation and then, you know, figure out what the best way is to get out of there and cut your losses. Why are you still angry? Why are you allowing life to pass you by? Why are you, you're not in prison? You don't have to deal with a guard who can put you against the wall and make you spread your butt cheeks. You know, you consensually spread your butt cheeks if you're spreading them on the street. <laughs> so stop, you know, being uh, a miserable person and find life find something that gives you a sense of self you know a lot of you guys live through these these uh uh other people you see on social media or you live through your kids look man your kids are going to be your kids but you got to have a life you got to find something that you like doing too and your kids will look at you and be inspired by what you're doing. You can't just do, you know, have them try and play football because you never made it or have you you know put send them to dance class cuz you didn't know how to dance or be a cheerleader. You got to have a life too. 
you know, and your life will reflect on those around you and it will inspire them to do things maybe that they'll want to do in their own life. But you got to have a life of your own. You know, some people, oh, it's just about my grandkids, it's just about my kids, it's just about my brother, it's just about taking care of my, my pop. Look, man, it's good to take care and help out people, man. But you got to have a life, man. You got to find something that makes you happy. But if you don't want to be happy, if you want to be a miserable turd, if you want to always be angry, walk around waiting for somebody to piss you off so you can lash out at them, beat them up, hurt them, or if you're one of those people who just refuse to find happiness, turn this video off. Don't watch my channel. You know, go somewhere in a corner, um, you know, fart and poop on yourself, you know, rub yourself with dookie, you know, uh, eat fast food, just do whatever, you know, but don't come around me or anybody I'm trying to, you know, network with because we don't like people who are miserable, unhappy. And a lot of times being happy is a choice. You don't have to be miserable. You don't have to be unhappy. If you're angry, you're mad, you're, you're, you're worried about what's going on over here in this place or who these people are. Look, man, those people are those people, man. They're, they're doing what they're doing. They're puppets. They're, 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 they're avatars. They're, they're, you know, whatever they are, but they have nothing to do with your life. You, you simply don't have to listen to them. You know, can nobody come in your house and tell you to do this, do that, man. You tell them to get the hell up out of there. So why are you not happy? Find your own happiness. Quit being a bitch. Quit making everybody else the, the, the problem. You're the problem. If you're angry, you don't know how to channel your, your, your stress. You're the problem. You know, put down the fork, push away the donuts. Get up and walk. Find something. Put a smile on your face. I don't care if you got to do crossword puzzles. I don't care if you got to uh, build Lego houses. Find something. Go and um, goddamn be a uh, humanitarian. Find something, though. BigHerk916. Go to my website, BigHerk916.com. Subscribe, support. Are you tired of smelling funky? Have you washed your ass? Go to BigKirk916.com Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life. My mom did the best a 14-year-old could do, raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight-A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, gang banging in the juvenile hall, I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity, getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison, while serving a 120-month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. This is my journey.